Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. No, it's not turning into a beauty channel, <laughs> don't worry. I've got all these eyeshadows here because I wanted to do this video for a long, long time. I kind of wanted to test out which of my eyeshadows that I could use um, as like base colors for my nails because it's a great way if you're starting out with YouTube videos or just doing your nails in general. Um, and you want to have like different colors this is a great way to be able to achieve it without having to go out and get loads of gel polish or loads of nail uh, pigment powders in particular um, and oh no I wanted to show you like obviously there's quite a range here you've got pressed powders you've got loose powders and um, I'm going to show you um, the different techniques in how to apply them I have already used these ones these were neon um, originally and I did use them when I was first starting out because I couldn't afford it but I really wanted neon nails and they worked really really well so this is the palette it's called sleek makeup and a good thing to look for with your makeup is if it says Mika that's a good thing with with you're generally going to get quite a good um, you know quality product if it's got Mika in it. It doesn't have to be that for it to work but it's a good thing to look at and I got this MAC um, eyeshadow it's absolutely gorgeous I got it for my anniversary recently and I love it so the colour is old gold and obviously this is a loose um, like pigmented powder it's such a gorgeous colour so for the first technique I'm actually going to try the where you put it on to like a no non tacky surface surface even not service <laughs> so I'm putting on a non wipe top coat and all of these colors that I'm going to be showing today I've just got a white base coat um so I'd make it easier okay so this is a gorgeous color and it's obviously ultra fine powder so I'm going to get this which is what I got sent from Nail Artisan so it's like a polish stirrer but you can use it as like a little scoop to get your powder out so you just want to scoop a little bit and you really don't need to get loads the powder goes quite far to be fair and then once you, obviously you've scraped a bit out you can go and put your lid back on so you're not going to lose any of your fantastic eyeshadows okay so you just want to put some onto your nail and then rub it in into the nail it still amazes me how this works it's such a cool way and it doesn't and it goes on really smooth and really nicely because it doesn't have to go into a tacky layer so I wish all the powders would go on this way but I know not all do isn't that just a gorgeous shade and that's going to be like a really nice autumn fall we're going into that now that's a nice color okay so I've gone ahead and top coated it with my gel top coat Okay, so it's quite a bit lighter, obviously it's going because it's over a white base. And off camera I did it on a black base. And can you believe the difference? It's got very much like greeny undertones that comes in over the black. Um, so it's a very versatile powder. And obviously because it's MAC, it's super quality and it's going to last really, really well. So that's that one. So going on to this sleek makeup thing. So this is a great way as well for like recycling like your old makeup powders, you know, because they've got a date where you've got to use them by. So with this, if they're pressed, all you need to do is like basically scrape a little bit of the powder up like so. And I'm going to try it with the same technique to see if it works with these powders. And as you can see, it doesn't work. So you do have to kind of play around uh, and see which is the best technique. So I've just gone ahead off camera and applied a, a top coat, a gel top coat, and that gives you the tacky layer. And as you can see, that's going on absolutely fine. And it's such a gorgeous color. I really like, these are really qu good quality um, eyeshadows. Okay, that's a bit of a close up. And this is it with the top coat. And can you believe the colour? It's so highly pigmented and you've got the shimmer as well. I'm like really, really impressed with this one. So I'm going to just take this colour as well. And again, I really like this. I'm not a massive fan of green on nails. I don't know why. Um, but this one is such a gorgeous shade. It's so pretty. So you can see how amazingly they go on. Really smooth. You can't see the base underneath. And again, amazing with the glossy top coat. Absolutely gorgeous. 
So these ones, I hate these eyeshadows, and, and I'll tell you why. Because you look at them and you think, ooh, what gorgeous colours. I mean, look at those shimmers, They're, they are amazing. But look, look what I do when I try and put it onto my skin. Okay, so you can see purple, put it onto my skin, it's like it's disappeared. You know the ones, you get them, you think it looks gorgeous, and it does just does nothing. So I wanted to see whether it would work on the nails, to see whether I could get it to work. So I'm just going to stick with the tacky layer. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I love that colour. Oh, that is so nice. I'm actually genuinely surprised that that has done that. I expected it not to go on at all. I expected to have some rubbishy powders that I'd be like, right, these are rubbish, don't use these. But actually, they've, they've impressed me. So this is like a more subtle range. I'm going to just give you a close-up of it. Okay, so the one in the middle could actually be a bit like, do you know when you have a French manicure? That can be like a French manicure pink. I was actually quite shocked with these. I expected them not to work. So <laughs> I'm really, really pleased with that. They look awesome. So here are the um, names. So you've got Rose Tentation, which is the first one I swatched. And then I'm not sure. Is that it at the top? I can't even say it. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's that one. And then you've got Violet Artistique. So I was actually quite impressed with these. So I'm just showing you, I don't know what the colour code is for this. Obviously it is an older makeup, but it's a great way to reuse it instead of just chucking it, put it on your nails. Okay, so this is Heather. And again, uh, I don't know what this is. It says 29 on the base. And again, again, you can see this Mika, and it's just Stargazer. I don't know, eye dust. Anyway, I hope that helps. So I've gone ahead and done that off camera, and that green is gorgeous. I actually did that twice. So I kind of put the powder on, top coated it, put the powder on again, and top coated it again. So in that way, you can have a bit more of a deeper colour. But aren't they amazing? That gold is so gorgeous. And like the brownie colour, it doesn't, it looks, basically looks brown, but it actually, it's quite nice in the flesh. And another thing is, you've got these palettes, which are great, because loads and loads of colours, but some of these colour, I'm just never, ever, ever going to wear. They're just not my skin tone, so they end up just sitting and not being used, unless you put them on your nails, like so. I mean, look at these colours, they are so bright, and you've got, you obviously, you, you shimmer here, like your metallic -y colours. That's what that reminds me of anyway. Let's get my camera to focus. How gorgeous is that? And again, perfect for um, autumn. And then you've got a super bright one for summer. So you can really have fun with um, get building up your, your swatches. And it's going to be a real quick way to do it as well. And it's a cheaper way to do it as well because generally you've got makeup so get those eyeshadow palettes out ladies and get experimenting you'll be actually probably be quite surprised at the amazing colors that you can come up with and i know you're going to ask the question can i do this with normal nail polish yes you can and how you do that is by obviously applying it normal letting it completely dry and then put a transfer foil glue over the top and let that dry and then that's your tacky layer and you can rub it into it that way Okay, so here are all the swatches that I've done today. I've got some gorgeous colours. I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. And yeah, go experimenting with your eyeshadows. It's a cheap and quick way to get quite a um, wide variety of colours without actually having to spend any more money, which is music to my ears. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming and checking out this tutorial. I really do appreciate it. Please like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, Bye, jelly babes.